The base of a triangle is 6 inches more than 3 times its height. The area of the triangle is 120 square inches. Determine the length of the base and the height. Let's let the variable h equal the height of the triangle in inches. So using the triangle provided, let's label the height. Next we are given the base of the triangle, which is the length of this side here, is 6 inches more than 3 times its height. Well 3 times h, or 3h, is 3 times the height. And because the base is 6 inches more than 3 times the height, we can use the expression 3h plus 6 for the length of the base. Again, this length is 6 inches more than 3 times the height. We are also given the area of the triangle equals 120 square inches. And now we can use all the given information with the area formula for a triangle, which is area equals 1 half base times height, to set up an equation and solve for h. Using the area formula, we substitute 120 for the area equals 1 half times the base, which is 3h plus 6, times the height, which is h. Let's use the commutative property of multiplication and change the order of the product on the right side of the equation. Let's write the equation as 120 equals, let's write the product as 1 half times h, or just 1 half h times the quantity 3h plus 6. And now we will solve the equation for h by first clearing the parentheses on the right side of the equation. Distributing 1 half h, we have 1 half h times 3h, which is 3 halves h squared, plus 1 half h times 6 is 3h. Notice how we do have a quadratic equation. Let's set the equation equal to 0 and see if we can solve by factoring. To set the equation equal to 0, we will subtract 120 on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, this gives us 0 equals 3 halves h squared plus 3h minus 120. For the next step, let's clear the fraction from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by 2. On the left side of the equation, 2 times 0 is still 0, equals on the right side, 2 times 3 halves h squared equals 3h squared. And then we have 2 times 3h, which is 6h, giving us plus 6h. Then we have 2 times negative 120, which is negative 240, giving us minus 240. Now that we have the fraction cleared from the equation, let's see if we can factor this. For the first step, we will factor out the greatest common factor of 3. Factoring 3 from the right side, we have 0 equals 3 times the quantity. Factoring 3 from 3h squared gives us h squared, plus factoring 3 from 6h gives us 2h, minus factoring 3 from 240 gives us 80. Let's finish this on the next slide. If the trinomial inside the parentheses does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. The factors of h squared are h and h. And now we need to find the factors of negative 80 that add to positive 2. Negative 8 times positive 10 equals negative 80, and negative 8 plus 10 is equal to positive 2 which means one binomial factor is h minus 8. The other binomial factor is h plus 10. The product on the right is equal to 0 when h minus 8 equals 0 or when h plus 10 equals 0. Solving for h here, we add 8 to both sides, giving us h equals 8. Solving for h here, we subtract 10 on both sides, giving us h equals negative 10. But remember, h is the height of the triangle, and the height must be positive, and therefore we can exclude the algebraic solution of h equals negative 10. We now know the height h is 8 inches. We still need to find the base, though. Remember, the base is represented by the expression 3h plus 6. So if the base has a length, of 3h plus 6, and we now know h is equal to 8, 
we need to substitute eight for h. Performing the substitution gives us three times eight plus six, three times eight is 24, and 24 plus six is 30. We now know the base has a length of 30 inches. I hope you found this helpful.